How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and in this video I want to show you, as you can see right here, a couple of cheap cards that in my opinion are currently worth buying. So if you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. If you're returning to the channel, then good to have you back. And let's do this. So the first card right here is a Coridon EX from Scarlet and Violet Base Set, actually. And this is currently 14 euros. And in my opinion, that is a great, great price for this card. I also have, for most of these cards, the link to TZG Player here as well, so we can kind of compare. This will come in handy later on in the video, because we do have to compare some prices. But yeah, on TCG Player it's even cheaper. It's under $10 over here. Of course we can't disregard the counterpart to Karidon. Here we have the Miraidon EX, also of course from Scarlet and Violet. Over on Card Market it is currently under 20 euros, while over on TCG Play it can be had for about 18, well I guess 19 with shipping. So there we are. Here we have the Penny Special Illustration Rare. It can be had for under 5 euros, check this out, man. That is such a bargain for this card. Over on TCG Play, I do believe it is a bit more expensive. It's um, $5.80, I guess, with shipping included. Still, even at that price, I think it's very good. And look at the look at the price right here, how, what, how much it dropped even in just six months. Incredible. Incredible. Moving on, though. Here we have a Crown Zenith card, the Pikachu, um, very well known for being very, very expensive in Japanese. I can just open this one right here. Okay, here we are. So you can see this is Indonesian, this is Korean. Um, a Japanese copy goes for 285, way too expensive. Um, just by the English version, the card itself is still very, very nice looking. If it wasn't for the yellow border, it would be perfect, but you know, um, it is cheap for a reason, and this is an amazing pickup. The card is super, super nice. Um, also, TCG player right here. Um, prices seem to be a bit higher, actually, compared to card market. Um, here we have one for $7.50. You get free shipping for, for $50 so if you buy more cards from this store. You might save some money, but there you go. That's the price of this one. Also, the price history for this one. Look at how much down it goes. Actually, I want to see from one year man okay look at how much it went down just one year it used to be 28 dollars and now it's like 750 man that is what i call a price drop and that is great for collectors like you and me here we have another pikachu this is actually one of my absolute favorite pikachus um, because once again the original version um, is super expensive, not just the Japanese one, the English one, the original, is pretty expensive, so we have to make do with the Celebrations one. Um, although I don't know how much this one is, this is the Japanese anniversary one. Hey, yeah, look at this, a hundred euros for that one. Way too expensive, you're better off buying the English one. And I, I think I said this before, this is a great gift for one of your friends or maybe kids or anyone really who's into Pokemon. And you give this card as a present for their birthday, they're gonna be thrilled. This card is amazing, love this card. Also here, once again on TCG Player, um, we have a near mint copy for about $6 with shipping included great great stuff i actually want to see the price history for this one okay so it does seem to be very very stable at that price doesn't seem to to drop that much or go that much higher there is there are a few spikes right here but for the most part it seems very very stable that is very good to see now next up we actually have a card that is only really cheap on tcg player so you the people from the US are going to be very happy about this. Um, we from Europe, we, we're not going to get to buy this card, um, as you're going to see in a second. So this one in a lightly played copy is under $15. If you really want to spend the money and um, go for a near mint, it is going to run you about $21, $23. But I think a, a good light played copy is going to be good enough for this card, and this card is super beautiful in person. Um, if you compare that to the prices of of card market, though, let me just change the condition to excellent, I suppose. Yeah, even excellent copies right here are 25 euros, so uh, this is pretty expensive over in Europe, so once again, if you're from the US, then you've got a bargain on your hand with this one. 
Um, next up is the Umbreon Star, another Celebrations card, and realistically, if you're not counting the Greninja Gold Star, this is probably the only Gold Star you're ever gonna own, because most of the Gold Stars are super, super expensive. I mean, I know, I did some research on the Rayquaza Gold Star because I do want to buy that at some point. Ridiculous price. Ridiculous, ridiculous price. So I will have to make do for a Gold Star like this, a reprint one. Price currently on TCG Player is about $14 with shipping included, which is really, really good. Alright, and here we are on Card Market. As you can see, it is a bit more expensive than compared to um, to TCG player. Um, I still think that might be decent. I actually don't see this dropping in price anymore. I think 25 euros is a good price point because you have to you have to think about it. Celebrations is long out of print by now. And at least for me, it was kind of tough to find at MSRP even when it was like printed to oblivion. And this card is, I think at that price point, it's really, really good. Um, if you're really looking out for it, you might be able to get a PSA 10 for about 100 euros, um, which is absolutely insane. Um, let's see if there's one on sale on, on card market. So PGS. Yeah, here we go. It's, it's even cheaper than I thought it would be. Um, here's a PSA 10 for 80 euros. So even at that price point for a PSA 10, I would say that's well worth it, at least if you're located in Europe. If you're located in the US and you have easy access to PSA, then I would say no, just buy a raw copy and send it in yourself. But, you know, sending cards into PSA over from Europe is gonna be very pricey, as I've discussed in, in my one and only PSA return video. Very, very pricey. But yeah, great card, and at that price point, I think it's, it's really, really good. We have one more card from Crown Zenith, actually, Cynthia's Ambition. And this is another one, just like the Penny, when I looked it up, I couldn't believe how cheap this card actually is. It is about 1050. I think if you're lucky, you might get one or two offers for under 10 euros. But even at this price point, I think this is a very, very good card to pick up for maybe the Full Art Trainer Collection. If you want to start one, this is incredible. This is one of my favorite Cynthia Full Arts, actually. It's not my favorite one, but it's really, really close. <laughs> really, really close. And over on TCG Player, this card for a Nierman is actually a bit cheaper. You can pay, you can get one for about $9, which is incredible. Like under $10 for this card in a Nierman copy. That's insane. That is really, really good. That's such a bargain. Let's look at the price history on this one. Now look at this. Half a year ago, it was at 15, and now it's settled at like 10. And then a year ago, of course, it was even higher. Great. These are the graphs that I like to see when I buy Pokemon cards. I, I know the One Piece collectors right now, as I've seen a few posts about their, their pulls and everything on Twitter. They have it in incredibly bad. Like, prices for One Piece cards, just to be a bit off topic here, not too much, are through the roof. Like, they're so insane for most of them. And I really do feel bad for, for you One Piece collectors, I really do. But at, <laughs> we Pokemon collectors, we get to eat good this time. So here we have the Miriam, the standard one from Scarlet and Violet. Um, 10 euros, incredible card. And for 10 euros, I think it's very, very well worth it. Um, on TCG Player, this one right here, um, it's about $8.80, like $9. So also under $10, which is incredible, just like the Cynthia. Very, very nice. Next up, of course, the Miriam special illustration rare. I actually recently picked this card up because I was looking through my my wish list on card market you know for the upcoming mail day and I couldn't believe how cheap this card got I, I could have sworn for the longest time this sat at around 50 euros but it has gone down down a lot and I think this is a good time to to buy this card price point at about 25 euros I think that is really, really good. Um, over on TCG Player, um, it is a bit more expensive, but it's still under $30. It's still under that magical under $30 mark. So if you're looking for an insane full art trainer, this is probably one of the best. I, I know a lot of players or a lot of collectors actually love this artwork, and I do too. 
Um, I actually haven't opened the letter. The letter has arrived for this card. As of the time of recording this video, though, I actually haven't opened the letter yet. So I have no idea what what the card actually looks like in person. I've seen some videos, though, though. This is, this is gonna be an amazing card. Also, price history for this one is gonna be insane. I mean, this was at the start um, of 23, when Scarlet and Violet was completely new. Um, it settled down for 75 and then 50, so look at this downward trend for this card. That's really, really good to see. That is really, really good to see. It might go down to $20 at some point, but honestly, I think even at this price point, it's a, it's a good purchase. Really, really do. Um, I think this might be the last full art trainer that I have on this list. Um, specifically the Japanese version, not the one from, from Crown Zenith. This is the one from V-Star Universe. Um, Sharon's Care. I actually do have that. I do believe I got that in a pr pristine 10. Um, CGC pristine 10, which is really, really nice. Um, price point for the raw card, though, 7 euros. 7 euros for a Japanese full art trainer. I mean, it doesn't feature a, doesn't feature a female character. That's why it's cheap, right? That's how it works with these, with these Japanese full art trainers. Uh, but any, anyways, however that may be, um, great card to pick up. For these Japanese cards, though, um, you can't really find them on TCG Player, since I think TCG Player doesn't... TCG Player must not allow the, the sale of Japanese cards. Um, so I think your only chance, if you're over in the US or Canada, I think your only chance to get these is either off eBay, or you go through the process of um, buying one of Card Rush. But I think eBay might have been the better choice because at least there, for the most part, you can see the card beforehand, which you can't if you're buying cards of, of Card Rush. But there you go, Sharon's Care. Um, a few more Japanese cards. Um, I think all of them actually from V Star Universe, since that's, that set has been out for a while now, and I think. I think cards have now reached a a low point, if you will, and I think they might be picking up soon. Um, you can see a, a little spike here, but that doesn't really mean anything. Card Lucario V Star, it's still about four euros, so still very very affordable. This is also this is miles, not yeah, not even miles. This is light years better than the English promo version that we've gotten. The texture on the Japanese one is out of this world, man. Believe you me, the texture is so much better. Looks incredible in person, and for 4 euros, that's an absolute steal. Next up is the Zashian V, for about 6 euros. Incredible, incredible card. I really love the illustration of this one. Um, the Zera Aura V Max from V-Star Universe, about 8, eight euros, under 10 euros for this card, man. A lot of these from V-Star Universe are pretty cheap. If you want the gold cards or like the the high value full art trainers like, um, what's their, Irida, the Laser Sparkle, Cynthia, so on and so forth, they do get quite expensive. But the normal ones, for the most parts, are pretty cheap. Um, as you can see right here, oh no, this is, um, this is VMAX Climax. I also have a few VMAX Climax cards right here. Because I think this is the same with V-Star Universe. They've kind of settled at this price point. But then VMAX Climax is also long out of print. So it's only a question of time when, when these start, p um, picking back up in terms of price. Um, this one, the Blaziken V, featuring May in the background, under 15 euros. Really, really good price point for this one. Um, and here we have Shiny Treasure Enix. Okay, so I only have one from VMAX time. I could have sworn I had more. Um, I did say this in my opening. You know, when I pulled the Pidgeotto EX, um, a ton of these Shiny cards are going to be really, really cheap. And I thought it was going to take way longer than it did. But Shiny Treasure EX, like the booster boxes on card market, are actually somewhat affordable already. Look at this, 60 euros! Usually when a new Japanese set comes out, they usually hold their value at about 80 to 100 euros um, on card market. This one is already down to 60, which I think is actually a really good price point. I think if you're buying it in Japan, the price converted to euros is about 32. Um, you have to keep in mind, you do have to pay shipping from Japan over to Europe, and you have to pay import taxes. 
So I think with all of that combined, 60 euros is a good price point if you want to open a box. Um, but the cards themselves, which are the main point for this video, are really, really cheap. We have the Meowth Garada EX at 2 euros 57, so under 3 euros. We have the Skeledurch EX for 1 euro 70, under 2 euros. And we have the Quaquavel EX for 2 euros 50. Amazing. This is so insane. Like, these cards should be more expensive just by how, how rare they are, if you will. But they're super cheap, which is good, don't get me wrong. I don't want these cards to be expensive. I love that they're cheap, which means they're very affordable. So a lot of you can also buy them and don't have to spend like a liver and a kidney. Well, you only have one liver, you can't spend your liver. You only don't have to spend a kidney to get one of these. Insane. I do have two more shiny treasure EX cards right here. I have the Alakazam, which is about three euros fifty. And I do have the Gardevoir EX. This actually looks super beautiful. Um, for four euros. This is a bit more expensive than the other ones. Um, I mean, the version that you really want from Shiny Treasure EX is this one. Um, it's still a hundred. I wouldn't, I wouldn't spend that much on this card. I would either wait um, until the Japanese version gets cheaper or until the English version releases. And then you also have to wait like half a year or a year before buying the English version. Um, but yeah, I think the English version is gonna be way cheaper than this. Most likely. Probably. Maybe. <laughs> no, I, it's it's gonna be cheaper. It, it's gonna be cheaper than the Japanese version, 100%. Um, last card right here, I actually forgotten this one in the V-Star Universe section. Um, the Zera Aura V-Star. I've actually also bought this and graded this with CGC. Um, this is available for under 8 euros, that's insane, man. Under 8 euros for a card this beautiful. Man, oh man. A lot of these V-Star Universe cards, as I've said, are gonna be pretty cheap. Well, but I guess that does it for this video. That's all the cards I have to show off. I hope you did enjoy this, and I hope I did get to show you a few cheaper cards. You know, they don't have to be expensive if you want them to look nice. There are so many beautiful cards out there that are also very affordable if you just look for them. You don't have to, because that's what I'm here for. So if you enjoyed this video, then a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. If you didn't enjoy it, then by all means give it a dislike. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix that for future videos. Other than that, to the right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited right for you. To the left right here is the sub button. Click the sub button first, then click this video. Check out any of the videos in the description below. And I hope we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace. Take care.